Welcome friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about the regulation of phosphorylase enzyme. Phosphorylase enzyme as we have seen is a very important enzyme for the breakdown of glycogen. Now it helps uh, the breakdown of uh, alpha 1 fold linkage of glucose and then it will generate the glucose 1 phosphate. Now this enzyme uh, is having two different forms, one is phosphorylase F which is an active form, another one is the phosphorylase B which is a less active form, not inactive totally, it's a less active form. Now now, uh, now uh, we can uh, see that uh, this phosphorylase B can be converted into uh, phosphorylase A uh, easily and this conversion is taken place by just addition of a phosphate group to this phosphorylase enzyme and uh, that the phosphate group which is, which is to be added is taken from the ATP and uh, the whole system is controlled by uh, the hormone glucagon which is secreted uh, the hormone glucagon which is secreted for from uh, the pancreas and uh, through the liver it will be activated right now another enzyme which is uh, activating this phosphorylase enzyme which is called epinephrine or which is called another uh, stress time hormone uh, or whatever like that this, uh, this 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 is the same hormone which is responsible for fi fight or flight response now this hormone can come and again activate this phosphorylase enzyme calcium or higher calcium concentration is also uh, elaborately activate this phosphorylase enzyme as well as the cyclic amp or amp concentration is very very important so epinephrine calcium ion uh, adenosine monophosphate and glucagon all these things are activating like uh, for phosphorylase or uh, whatever glycogen phosphorylase from its less active form to its more active form now in the more active form it is the phosphorylated form of phosphorylase which is uh, much more active now the phosphorylated uh, form of phosphorylase which is phosphorylase A can again be restored back to its less acti active state by just cleaving out the phosphate group from itself now this cleaving out of phosphate group is established by another enzyme so it's it's a control or regulation of this enzyme now the regulation scheme which is followed by the this enzyme is a dual regulation scheme one is the covalent regulation another one is the allosteric regulation both type of regulation can be easily seen in this case of phosphorylase enzyme now uh, the regulation of attachment uh, via phosphate is mediated by two enzymes phosphorylase kinase and uh, phosphoprotein phosphatase now phosphorylase kinase can put on a phosphate group to this enzyme and make it active and phosph phosphoprotein phosphatase can cleave one phosphate group out of it and making it less active okay and there are the ingredients like glucagon epinephrine which is triggering the activity of this phosphorylase enzyme so whenever we are having a much more uh, much less uh, uh, glucose concentration concentration into our bloodstream in those situation uh, we need to generate much more uh, glucose inside our blood uh, uh, by breaking down the stored glycogen in the, in the liver and that is established by the secretion of glucagon hormone from pancreas okay as well as the secretion of epinephrine hormone from adrenaline gland, gland which is present just right up the, uh, right up of our kidney okay so this is a way of controlling it and and why it is regulated via this hydro uh, this phosphate addition pathway because the active site of this phosphorylase enzyme is made up with the serine and the 14th uh, position of the serine so serine 14 is really really important uh, feature for that now this hydroxyl can attach to a phosphate and uh, water can be released and again the cleavage of uh, this uh, bond leads uh, to the phosphate release and water is needed for the hydrolysis of this phosphate bond right so this is the overview of the process and also this phosphor uh, this this enzyme is uh, covalently modified because of this phosphate addition as uh, as we have seen but this enzyme is also allosterically regulated due to the presence of the glucagon epinephrine cal calcium concentration amp and all these things okay in, in the liver it is activated by glucagon but in uh, the muscle cells it is activated by epinephrine okay so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you